Hey, what's up tennis fans? I'm James Watterson and I've got your Tennis Now Tennis News for the sixth day of the US Open. Today we saw the most anticipated matchup of the tournament so far, Serena Williams versus world number four Victoria Azarenka. The first set certainly didn't live up to expectations though as Serena blitzed Azarenka 6-1 in less than half an hour. Serena really kept up the pressure on the Belarusian as she hit 13 winners compared to Azarenka's two. Azarenka kept it close in the second set, but Serena ended up winning it in a tiebreaker 7-5. In the end, Serena hit 39 winners. Now, after the match, Azarenka said Serena is playing at a higher level than she's seen in a few years from her, and that she's playing well enough to win the US Open. World number one Caroline Wozniacki and Andrea Pekovic won in straight sets today, while Francesca Schiavone had to come back from a set down to beat Chanel Sheepers. Anastasia Pavlyuchenkova did cause a mini upset when she took down Yelena Yankovic in straight sets. Meanwhile, Roger Federer defeated Marin Cilic of Croatia 6-3, 4-6, 6-4, 6-2 to reach his 30th consecutive fourth round at a Grand Slam tournament. The last time he lost in the third round was at the 2004 French Open. Since then, he's made at least the quarterfinals, and of the 30 tournaments, he's appeared in the finals 21 times. In his match today, Cilic played extremely well in the first three sets. He used his big serve and strong cross-court forehand to pull Federer off the court, but the Swiss's slice backhand gave Cilic absolute fits. As the match went on, Federer played better, and Cilic started missing more forehands. Listen to Federer's assessment of the match right now. Yeah, I mean, I thought it was a, a tough match, like you said. I mean, I, coming in, I knew it was, uh, was going to be tricky, and um, I'm, I'm happy that uh, I was able to counter his, uh, his pace and his, his good play. I mean, it was a tricky match, especially at one set all, and, and in the third set, sort of in the beginning, I thought that was a, a key moment, you know, because um, uh, he had momentum on his side. I was not uh, returning and serving exactly the way I wanted, and I was able to kind of turn it around and then finish strong in the set, and then in the, in the fourth, things were a bit easier, but um, tough match from, from start to finish, really, because also the first set could have gone from different days, I know that. Thanks for that, Roger. America's top player Marty Fish found his way into the fourth round with a straight set victory against Kevin Anderson, and Alexander Dolgopolov beat Ivo Karlovic in four. Now Fish will move on to play Joe Wilfried Sanga, who beat Fernando Verdasco in straight sets. Two matches on the men's side were decided by retirements, making that 14 retirements in the men's and women's tournament this year, which is a record. Marcel Granollier retired against Juan Carlos Ferrero, and Thomas Burdich retired against Yanko Tipsarovic to finish off the match results for the day. Now today was good, and tomorrow will be great. First up on Arthur Ashe, Rafael Nadal will take on David Nalbandian in what could be a great, great match. Then we've got Andy Roddick versus Julian Benito, followed by Maria Karolinko uh, against Samantha Stozer. We've also got Juan Martin Del Potro against Jill Simone, and Feliciano Lopez versus Andy Murray, and Sabina Lazicki plays Vera Zvonareva in the last night match. To follow all of the tournament's action, make sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and subscribe to our account on YouTube. For full details on all of today's matches and any for the rest of the tournament, as well as other stories from the tennis world, go to www.tennisnow.com. As always, thanks for watching and have a good night, everybody.